The other day, I went to Piedmont Park in an attempt to sit in the grass, be in nature, and get some peace. But I took my dogs with me, which was a mistake because I kept trying to meditate and get some peace and quiet, but my dogs were restless. They kept barking and wanting to chase after every dog and every person that walked past, and it was literal chaos. So probably around the third round of barking, and there were many, many rounds of barking, I realized that I probably wasn't going to get the peace that I was so hoping to get. And that alone had me wondering, have I ever really known peace? So in true millennial fashion, I googled the definition of peace. Peace, freedom from disturbance, tranquility. No, I don't think I have. And this realization shook me because I meditate, I pray, I sometimes sit alone in my apartment in complete and utter silence and stare at the wall. So I know what it's like to have nothing physically disturb me. I know what it's like to have no people around me and no loud noises startling me. I know what quiet is, I know what stillness is, and I know what calm is, which if you really think about it, those are all just synonyms of peace, right? But the point that I'm trying to make is that those are just small pieces of the peace puzzle. I mean, to have peace, to be at peace with your life, with yourself, with your job, with your finances, with your family, your friends, your partner, that's all anyone ever really wants. People want to secure their freedom from distress. So although I've experienced pockets of peace within the stillness and the calm, I don't know if I've ever really mastered peace within because once the stillness returns back to normalcy, I still feel restless inside. As someone who is very self-aware and has pretty much mastered soaring through chaos in the physical realm, this realization about myself really just left me in bewilderment because more often than not, I still have moments where I'm fighting chaos internally. And it makes me wonder if true, long-lasting peace, both internally and externally, is even attainable. Because I want lifelong peace. Not just an hour during meditations, and not just a weekend during vacations while my toes are in the sand. And I don't always want a blunt in my fingertips or a drink in my hand in order to achieve it. And it's scary because I don't really know what else that would look like without those things. What really even is peace, aside from no war and violence, aside from no disturbances? Is it the lack of chaos? The lack of internal conflict? Is it the lack of doubt? Is it the lack of problems? Because even I know that a life without those things is unrealistic. And would you ever really know peace if you've never come across chaos? And would you even know what chaos is if you never experienced some form of peace? Maybe peace isn't the absence of conflict, but the ability to manage it with grace. Or maybe peace isn't the absence of problems. Maybe problems just seem small when you're peaceful. I really don't know. But I do know that I find myself saying I just want peace a lot. And yet the concept of peace feels foreign to me. And it feels a lot more complex than what we were taught in schools or what we see in the movies. It makes me feel similar to the way that I feel when I try to wrap my mind around the concept of who God is or how vast outer space is. And you know, even I know that these topics mean different things to different people. So maybe the same holds true for peace. But if you were to ask me what peace means to me, I mean true long lasting peace, Well, I'll just have to tell you if I ever figure it out.